one of the go-to sayings in sports is it ain't over till it's over till the fat lady sings. Our next guest knows exactly what she sounds like. Keith Miller used to playing in front of packed houses except his playing days ended and now it's time to sing. Little opera coming up for us. Our next guest, Keith Miller, he is used to playing in front of packed houses. In the 90s, he used to play fullback for the University of Colorado, uh, but rather than continue pursuing a pro career, he traded in his pads for costumes and stage makeup, and he now performs with the Metropolitan Opera. We welcome in football player turned opera singer Keith Miller now. So Keith, you credit seeing Phantom of the Opera back in your college days as your inspiration to try out opera. What was it about that opera that made you say, I would love to do that? It was just something I'd never seen before. I, I showed up, I took a, a girlfriend on a date, and I saw the lights, the music, and was really just blown away by this uh, type of entertainment that I'd never seen before. It really now, grabbed me. Now, you dabbled in music as a young man, but you didn't actually know how to read music. How'd you end up learning? Uh, basically, it was in 2002. I was doing the first uh, young artist program that I was part of, and uh, was thrown into so many things. They asked me to do a couple of things and they asked me to do four more and a couple more and I didn't have any time to rehearse and have someone help me with it. So I went to a church basement um, from about 10, uh, 10 p.m. till 2 in the morning every day and taught myself on the piano how to read music. Yo, man, when you talk to somebody for the first time and you meet them, like, what's their reaction when they hear your voice? Like, you sound like James Earl Jones, for real. Like, what do people say when they first talk to you? No, I, I get that sometimes. It's funny because I'm really kind of a quiet guy, so I don't I don't usually speak very much. But yeah, I get a, I get a couple of comments every once in a while. Well, all right, good stuff. You played football in college. You worked out with NFL teams. Played professionally in Europe. How'd your football teammates react when they found out that you were going to become an opera singer of all things? Uh, you know, you can imagine some of the ribbing that you know uh, you get. I think guys now have kind of come around to it, but you know when you're um, in college and, you know, you're listening to a fan of the opera or magic flute before a football game, you know, they're going to they're gonna give it to you pretty hard. But, uh, they, you know, I think now, you know, as people mature, they, they appreciate, you know, things that uh, I've done and, you know, what I went through and just appreciate opera itself better. Toughest part of the transition from fullback to opera singer? Um, it's just the learning curve. Um, it's, it's, it's very intense and it's the same thing. I mean, you have to apply everything that I learned from football, you know, analyzing the film and technique and, and just repetition and hard work and applying it to a brand new field and not being intimidated by the fact that I had more to overcome at the beginning than most of the competition that I was dealing with. Last so you about, just, I'm sorry. You know, yeah. No, no, no. It's just, it just, you know, learning a whole new, new system. Now, I ask you about your football teammates. On the flip side, how do your fellow performers react when they found out that you were once a football player? You know, it, it, at first it was kind of weird because they thought it was like a gimmick, you know, kind of like, uh, here's this guy who's getting some media attention because, he, you know, he, he played football and, you know, he's you know, got a loud voice, but, but can he sing? And, you know, you have to overcome kind of both worlds, you know, the, just prove to people that you're doing something, you're legit, you're legit at it, and you know, that you belong there, and not only belong there, but you can contribute to the art form is the most important thing. Now, how do you use your football training to help you and other singers in your opera career? You know, it's, it's a lot based on discipline and hard work, and at the same time being able to, when you, when you first go into something, you, you work really, really hard um, trying to do a thousand things at once until you acquire enough technique and tools to be able to pull yourself back and become more efficient. And, you know, with football, it really helps you to, if you get past a certain point, you can analyze what you're doing, how you're doing it, why you're doing it, and then you apply that to singing, you know, how am I looking at the score, what is the, the composer trying to say to me through these pages, and how can I relate that through any vocal technique that I have or anything that I need to say as an artist. So it's, it's very similar, even though they seem worlds apart. All right, what's more exhilarating, landing a crushing block and helping your running back rip off a long run or ripping off a killer aria in opera? You know, they're about the same, and that's, that's why Phantom was such a big draw to me because it was right after the 94 Michigan game, hmm. and I was sitting in the audience, and I said, I'm feeling the same rush that I felt when we won that Hail Mary game. And I, I said, you know, I don't know what this is, but it's, it's, it's very real, very substantial to me. 
And it, it's, you know, that's the wonderful thing about what I've had happen to me in my life is that I've been able to experience something like Michigan and something like the Met in the same time. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a different fix, but it's, it's the same. Now, what's more comfortable, real quick, before we let you go? Full football uniform? Or we show the pictures of the costume and the tights and all. What's more comfortable for you? Uh, I'd have to say probably a football uniform just because uh, you can hide behind the mask a little bit. Um, but it, it's, it's all the same. I mean, it's part, of the, it's part of the outfit, and you have to embrace it. And, um, you know, it's just been a great ride. All right. Keith Miller of the Metropolitan Opera, former Colorado fullback. What an uh, amazing career change. Very inspirational. Never be afraid to try new things. Thanks a lot and continued success. Thank you for having me. All right, let's kick it over to Dana for more. All right.